For the sign of Cancer, hello and welcome to my channel. The energy I was getting for this reading is that you could be thinking about revisiting your past. Yeah, for some Cancers out there, not all of you, but some some of you want to go back to someone from your past. Yeah, and we need to get into this reading so that we can take a look at and see where this is going well what's going on with this attempt to make a comeback so for the present time cancers we got this five of swords and it's with the seven of wands now the five of swords you're likely to find yourself with some mixed feelings could be about life in general maybe a few people in particular don't ignore these but don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either as you could ruin the very things that you want the most such as close intimate relationships with their friends and your lovers so think several times before you really let someone have it even if you know they deserve it you gotta pick your battles cancer now it's paired with the seven of wands the Seven of Wands, you can find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. Things should be going well, you should be feeling good, and your project should be moving right along, although you could still have some regular moments of self-doubt. But now is really the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. And I say this because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. Now this card, it also points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So basically with these two cards paired together, yeah, you've got some mixed feelings about someone or maybe a situation, a person or a thing. Some mixed feelings, yeah, it's really strong right here uh, in your reading. Uh, but it looks like you want to come out on top of the situation. Yeah, you want to be the last man standing. So, this could be you, Cancer, or, or it could be someone coming toward you, or it could be the person that you're dealing with. But let's take a look at how your person sees you, and we'll get more clarity on those two cards. So, for now, your person is seeing you as three of cups in the tower so this three of cups it's considered to be a card of reunions but that's not always a romantic reunion it's a reu reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for a long time and this is considered to be a happy reunion and upbeat card very upbeat as you can see, these three people, they're jumping up in the air with their champagne, wine, or liquor. And they're so happy, they don't care. They're about to land into a lake. So it's a very happy return. Now, it can also mean celebrating your own, some type of celebration. Your own or someone that you care about. Such as celebrating a new baby, wedding, or some type of happy occasion. So this is one of the ways your person sees you as, they see you as, um, hmm. possibly they could see you as someone who's wanting to make a return, wanting to come back to them. And if you know that that's not the case, it could be they see you as A circle of support. A great friendship. A great friendship. Um, they could see you as someone who really fits the bill. Those are some examples of Three of Cups. But let's see what it's paired with the tower card now the tower card is about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo which can be a disaster you gotta roll with the changes 
It's likely that some people's situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there for you in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic because we all know change. It's the nature of life. And if we try to re prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this, this could be the time that some come crashing down. But keep in mind, that's only a problem if you let it be. You'll be you be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month because keep in mind dreaming dreaming is important but it's also important to be living in a reality too so they see you as enlightened by some disaster so with these two cards for how your person see you, Three of Cups and the Tower, it looks like they see you as a past person that's trying to come back, make a comeback. Or they could see you as a past person that um, they want to return to. It could go, there's a few storylines here. But then they remember the Tower moment. And that's how they see you as something that comes crashing down or came crashing down and they were awakened by that disaster yeah so let's take a look at how you see them and then we'll get more clarity on these two cards the ones we just read uh, okay so your person you see them like three of swords you also see them like the Hermit. Now the Three of Swords, although there's an element of sorrow, which is undeniable when you get this card, but what lies on the other side of this sorrow, it can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or, sorrow or pain that comes up now. You need to do this so that you can move past it. This card, it can point to some very deep emotional issues that need to be addressed before you can move on. If you try to deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. And I say this because if you decide to stay stuck in sadness, depression, or grief, you can get stuck there. You can get stuck waking up every morning thinking that this is the new normal and it's not. So yeah, you don't want to stay there for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough, and others can't do it for you. So that tells you about the Three of Swords. So you see them as being heartbroken. Yeah, they experience relationship difficulties with you. And you see them as they were shutting you out, or you started to shut them out. Or you will. Like I said, if you're trying to come back, then this is how you see them. Maybe this is how you're remembering it was in the past with this person. But we'll get more clarity. You see them feeling rejected. Now, it's with the Hermit card. The Hermit card is, it can be a spiritual card. It could have... Something to do with large institutions, organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. So you could be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house. So that you can clear your head. Yeah, clear your head. Get rid of some baggage. Clear your mind. This card is also a card about trying to do very hard the right thing trying very hard to do the right thing but just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others so it's interesting because when the hermit talks about love it's saying that it's possible that a romance from your past will be rekindled but you got to ask yourself, is that what you really want? Because it seems that romantic relationships, they're probably not a priority for you now. So, yeah, this is a past person reading. Someone, 
a romance from your past could be rekindled. And you're in deep thought here. So you see this person as being in deep thought. And, and, and yes, I'm picking up that you're trying to make a comeback. Or you're thinking about making a comeback, Cancer. And um, your person's in deep thought. They're remembering the heartbreak. They're remembering the heartbreak and probably how you two shut each other out or how you shut them out and how it felt. They felt rejected by you. They're remembering all of that. Yeah, and so they're, they're trying to uh, spend some time alone, contemplate clear their mind. They're in deep thought. That's how you see them. Okay, so let's take a look at why it's happening. We've got the King of Wands, and it's with the Strength card. Now, the King of Wands, King of Wands, it can indicate a man with hair on the lighter end of the spectrum who wants to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is a positive card in the tarot. Even when he does not represent an uh, actual individual in your life, it signifies that men around you are supportive of you and they think really well of you. You will be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you'll have the will to stick to a task, any type of task or whatever you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, so King of Wands was one of the reasons why it's happening Um, there is or was a lot of supportive energy or someone was very supportive and thought really well of the other or they still do this could be you or your person cancer but let's see it's paired with the strength card the strength card when you get this card, it's important to take time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you have a lot of kids. Don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear, though, because the outward things will be going all right, but what's most important, important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility, so try to conquer any fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. So, the strength card is about a uh, connection or a relationship that's mutually supportive. Accept, accepting, it's patience, it's compassion, it's a strong relationship. Or you could just be practicing self-love, unconditional love here with the strength card. So, yeah, these two re these two cards is why it's happening. But let's recap the reading because it seems to be all over the place for right now. But let's see if I can pull this together for you. So basically, we got um, the present time. We got mixed feelings. Yeah, with this five of swords. Uh, conflict. This Five of Swords is about conflict, fighting, violence, abuse, abusive relationships. So, your person, they see you as picking up cancers, you want to make a return to someone. Don't forget the roles can be switched, okay? So, you can, it looks like they see you as wanting to make a return. You want to come back. Maybe you reached out to someone or you're thinking about it. Are you reaching, you're thinking about reaching out to someone from your past and they're um, in deep thought here. They're still um, trying to clear their head, clear their mind from the heartbreak that they experienced in this connection. And um, they, re they see you as a tower moment. You were enlightened by some disaster. That's how they see you. They remember the tower moment when things came crashing down. But they see you as wanting to make a return, to 
re reunite. But they remember the heartbreak and they're in deep thought. Um, so it uh, looks like your person, they have mixed feelings. Yeah, they got five swords in their hand. They, they don't know. Uh, it's about fighting. They, maybe they remember the fighting that was in the relationship. So it's about conflict. They think that they, this could, if you got back together, there would be a lot of fighting. But it looks like um, you still have caring and protective feelings towards this person with the King of Wands in your reading. And they, it, this could be them. They could have caring, still have some caring and protective feelings about you. Yeah, and that's why they're in deep thought. They're trying to figure out should they go back or not. They're in deep thought. They wouldn't give it much thought if this person didn't want to attempt to go back. It's because the King of Wands, they still have caring, protective feelings towards you. But they remember the heartbreak and the tower moment. But it looks like you, you want to come out on top of the situation. You still want to win this person back. And it's showing that you can. You can be the last man standing. And this connection it has the potential to be strong, mutually supportive. Yeah, it has the potential for the strength card here. But it looks like your person is, is going to be stuck in their head, contemplating, um, spending time alone, trying to think. Is this what they really want to do? Go back to the past because the heartbreak, it was, it looks like it was pretty bad. Because it's, you got a tower moment here. A lot of things came crashing down or maybe just one, it was just one big disaster. But you want to return cancer to someone. And it looks like they could also be afraid of the fighting that might happen or all the fighting that did happen. Yeah, you could come out on top, though. You could be the last man standing. There's a seven of wands there. Yep. And it's got potential with a strength card. So, good luck to you, Cancer. Good luck to you. Your person, um, they may need to be worked on, though, because it looks like there was some really bad heartbreak there. So I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those.